What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we're back in Pal World, and oh, I just love this image of my foxicle just sitting here chilling out, literally, with the refrigerator, because I got cakes in here. I got an overabundance of cakes that I don't want right now. I was actually between parts doing a lot of breeding and figuring out what breeds what, so I could breed certain things. So right now, ooh, these guys actually got me a Kilimari. And I'm breeding Kilimaris and certain things because, one, I don't want to waste the resources on balls, and two, uh, the the creatures like Kilimari that you can only catch in dungeons, I really want to breed because, um, like, 80% of the time when I go in a dungeon, so one, uh, one out of five, uh, I can actually go through the whole thing. All the other times, my game crashes, and it's usually within, like, the first room, so that suck hard body. So we got this going. And then uh, the other thing I was breeding was a bunch of war sects that are over here. And they're huge. So those Kilimari are going to take like seven minutes to hatch. These ones at full take like two hours. Even on a uh, 100% hatching speed. So we actually got this guy's going to hatch in about 30 seconds. But today I want to do a hunting thing. I want to fill out my, my next hope or my dream or my goal is to fill out as much as this pal decks as i can and a lot of these guys are like the ignis version of other creatures so i want to go get a goblin or a gobfin ignis and what else do i want to get i want to try to get yeah one of these terras there's a bunch of ignis and terra creatures i still don't have so i want to get those yeah there's three I already passed there's some nox stuff i want to get that's cool i don't know what this is gonna be but we're gonna have a lot of fun today especially because i'm making my own goals now oh here's a lee's punk right now and there's so many eggs around here to collect and i wish to collect them all and i also know that i should be collecting uh, cl collecting oh freaking crikey oh and because of me stuttering oh so much i accidentally killed the lee's punk but uh the thing i want to say is I'm, i want to collect all the eggs regardless of whether they're large huge or regular or their uh, rarity i think the rarity just has to do with their size but if I, ooh, there's another Lee's Punk up there. As I was thinking about it, there's some stuff like that I don't have yet that I want, like the Kilimari and the d little dark eggs. I've only ever been, at one point I was like, oh, screw all these eggs. I don't need the small ones. The small ones aren't going to be as good. But they might help me complete my decks, and I wish to do that. So in that case, they will help me out a lot. So I will catch up all sorts of eggs. I got two large eggs, a regular scorched egg. Are you, why are you directly there can you get out of there can i give these grass tornadoes to you there buddy guy oh yes you very much like those can i throw this green at you oh this yellow no that did not work okay there we go 19 percent 19 percent kind of booty also uh do i don't think i have my headphones in because i can't hear anything right now that is a matter that i can fix though uh, whilst i was trying to catch this no stop doing that i'm trying to plug in me ears because I cannot hear nothing for many years. Okay, you got out of those. You're not going to get out of this. Yes, 80%. And I see another egg on this skull next to you. Oh, he's another. We keep finding these giant egg heads laying all over the place. Ooh, Lee's Punk Ignis. Let's go. Let's see. I feel like it's been a little while since I've read one of these. Where is your beautiful boy? When activated, utilizes its sixth sense to detect nearby dungeons. Very nice. If I could actually go inside of them. A pal that has a, a u unusual obsession with their standing posture, always in search of the hottest pose. This pal's owner is constantly presented with fervent stances. He's just there, just doing stuff in front of me. Like if I had him out, I had my other guy. I was, I was chilling with him a lot because he does have a lot of cool move sets, and I feel like a lot of his moves, especially early on, are good because they heat seek and they do like burn damage. And why am I burning? I wasn't even in the fire. Oh, quiver, and I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it, don't do it. Frick. Oh, man. The fire kills me so fast. I have heat resistant stuff. What is going on? Do I need like those t-shirts and rings and whatever else kind of crap? Oh, my. If you don't know where I am, too, I'm over here. This is where I like to go. And also, I want to collect sulfur because the the fast travel spot has like three nodes next to it. Three or four if you if you want to go out just a tiny bit extra. But, yeah, it's a very, very nice spot for sulfur. And that is not very nice. That's very bad. Why is it said I've died all the way over here? I wasn't over here when I died. And also, I have Rangerix with me so I didn't have to make any more armor or do any weird stuff. So, here we are. Put all my stuff back in my inventory. Oh, no, I actually don't have enough crap wait you go there don't need you don't need all that two electric organs isn't my jam uh wait now how do i talk to the other bag 
Hello? I wish to not. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. We can just do... You can get discarded. You get discarded. You get discarded. And then you get discarded. Okay, that's the way... That's the way it's working right now. Now, what's in this death bag? There's, there were other things in here, right? Or am I just... Is this all weird? Wait. Um... Okay, I took it all. Now, I wish there was a way that I could be like, you go to PC, because I want to have Wiv uh, Quivern, but Quivern is always the freaking last one for me to pick up, and now I can't fly around. Oh, this sucker so hard. I am so schmad right now. But I did see two Gobfin Ignises as I came here. Hopefully I can find another one. Those are two Lee's Punks Ignises, and they were back near the spawn, so I just had to carry and walk all the way back there it's not so bad but when you can fly in a rough terrain like this it's so much easier oh hey nice right on the death beach where we found our first guy i don't know if i can weaken you though so at least not with acid rain because it's a water type move but we can grass tornado you i think oh not not bad but i don't want to waste any purple balls so i will try to do a little oh freaking i said i didn't want to waste Dang it all, the resource that took to make a single ball. Hopefully that means we can get you, though. You can make up for it. Yes, thank you. You have a paragraph of descriptions. What is up with that? You do, too? I mean, yours is longer. Angry Shark, when activated, attacks targeted enemy with a powerful spirit fire. While in team, increases player's attack power. No, oh, wow. Just on the team? That's pretty nice. Uh, Once upon a time. We're going into a fairy tale with this fiery shark boy. It was a giant and powerful aquatic pal. However, with the dwindling, dwindling availability of food, it ventured onto land. As a consequence of burning many calories to walk, it astonishingly awakened its power to control fire. But this one, all it said that it it shrunk because it went on land. <laughs> I thought I was going to say that too, but nah. And I like how the scars that are on this are actually like lightning bolts on this guy. Even though he's not an electric type. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. That's nifty. I feel like these guys uh, aesthetically and design wise are some of my favorite pals. And if you are enjoying this part at any moment, please do go below the video and hit all the sell stuff, the like, the comment, the subscribe, and even the bell. I would muchly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You're the best, and it helps me out a lot. Even just liking does so much. It does significant work for the channel and the community. Oh hell yeah! I'm looking for more terror types, mostly the the deer. And what else? Uh, the serpents. So, I haven't seen any of them though. And I started here, and I went all through this, and found this, and here we is. But how's we gonna catch ya? We're gonna do it carefully. First, I gotta knock out these two. There you go. There you are. There it is. Can I also burn you with this? I know you can burn people. There's a way you can do it. I'm not a hundred with it, but also I don't want you to be out here anymore. I'll throw out Warsec, because he is ground type against you, and he should do a splendiferous amount of damage. Or, uh, what, what's that word I learned today? I, I learned a word from a weird Alice in Wonderland book that has to do uh, with a game that I like called Wonderland's Wars. It's such a freaking fun game. I got it for Christmas. It's so, it's so amazing. But, uh, it came with, like, a little storybook, and I read some of it. And apparently there's a creature called, the like, the Jabberwocky or something like that. And he uses weird verbiage. And he said this thing called Fabjus, and I had to look it up, because I'm like, what the, is this even a word, or is it just for him? And apparently it is a word, it means like extraordinary, or like amazing, something like that. So, I want to try using that word Fabjus more often, because it is a thing, and I've never heard somebody use it. Or if I did, I might have like wrote it off. What is, what, what is going on? I'm like target practice, because uh, the way she's just like moving in a circle. Oh, are you gonna, oh man, I freaking ruined it. I ruined it. Warsec, what are you doing? Throw throw more stuff at him and do more stuffs. Or her. A big old lady. This purple lady. I didn't even know they were really purple. Until uh, this, because of this one. It's just so big. Now she's just bouncing again. No, aim up a little higher. A little higher than that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're in this movement again. I will has you. I missed out on a shiny in the last part, but not today. Man, these weren't even on my list. I can't believe almost every part I'm finding one. And what are you doing? Okay, you're in an animation. That's why you're stuck up so high in the sky. You little stuck up lady. Ow! What? What is up with the like the quick dark attacks? 
that just take out my whole entire shield. And Warsect, what are you doing? Why is this your life? Why do the pals do this in this game? When they get too close, they just start dancing on each other. Giving each other lap dances. Oh, man, and I'm wasting so many bullets. Oh, Warsect. I don't think that's going to do a lot to you, though. If this was Pokemon, that wouldn't do any damage. But even if Earth just resisted it in, like, the Pal world, the, the grass also resisted. So quad resist against electricity. It does seem as such. Except for your dark type attacks. Why did my controller just whip down like that? Whipping it, whipping it, whip. I just missed, like, half of those shots. Ow! No, and now I'm burning? How dares you? What? What do you mean, burning? I wish, like, you could get... Er, in, in the early game, when you could make the crossbows, you could make, um, like, fire arrows and poison arrows and all sorts of cool stuff. Why can't I get, like, dragon's breath for my shotgun, if you know what those bullets are? Basically, they shoot, like, an incendiary round. Makes fire and a bunch of sparks. I think it's more sparks than anything, but... Ah, come on. I wish I could have those for the residge damage, but also for freaking crikey, dude. I need to do it like this, because at least you're staying in like a straight-ish line, so I'll always get some sort of damage off. My shotgun is ruined? Oh, no. Okay. Well, let me just try some of these red balls on you and see if that works. It didn't... They're... You're not even having it? Okay, Warsec, you need to get out here and actually do a little bit of damage, because I can't anymore. I wish I could. But I just can't. Okay. The 72. And now you ran into her for 31. She still has some good health. There we go. If you hit her with another rock type move, I think that should be fine. Looks like she got plenty. Yes, it was plenty. Now let me try from your backside. Only 14% on the best sphere in the game? This is not good. Oh, dude. Trying to catch like shiny versions of boss creatures... It's going to be ridiculous if that even can be a possibility. Because this right here just sucks. Okay. There. Oh, I knocked her out. I knocked her out. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. For a second, I thought she died. I would have been so upset. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. I don't even know why I'm doing this, really. Because I uh, freaking cry, dude. Why are you moving around so much? And why do I suck at throwing balls? Oh, and why do these balls suck? I really want to get a statusing thing. I should, you know what I could do? Oh, that was like a perfect timed frame uh, rollback, but uh, frickin' don't. I should get like electric grenades and incendiary grenades, because those would probably work. Dude, another perfect dodge. Look at that. Do it. Throw it again and dodge. That's all you do. Throw and dodge. Throw and dodge. This is going into the nights. Oh, and I'm using so much material. This does not make me feel good. Oh, why do you keep teasing me too? You go on up to 45% quite a bit. You just need to jiggle. Jiggle like two times. The third jiggle is always like guaranteed. Come on. Freaking crike, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is making me gonna have to go back to square one to the drawing board. With all the mud materials I've used. I think I'm making up more pal metal at the base, but still. I had freaking like 20. Just get in there, please. I beg of thee. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this us? I don't want to miss out on another shiny. Come on, man. Oh, just, just four more, including this one. Come on. Get in there. You had the one jiggle time. Just give me the two jiggle. That's all we need is two jiggles. I don't think there's too much to ask for. Two balls. Two more balls. Two jiggle. Two balls. One ball? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do it. Why, you you use all my materials and you break my shotgun? Oh. I'm glad and mad that we got that because you literally... You waited. You took all of my legendary balls. Oh, some people would be like, oh, that's freaking amazing. And that's how I feel. That's how I felt initially. But then as soon, like one second later, I just went to rage in my brain because, oh, 22. You really had to eat all my balls. Oh, you could literally eat my balls, lady. Oh, my goodness. What the hell's going on here? Um...
This is just so odd. I've only ever seen two of these guys next to each other. I don't even think I've seen pals ever spawn in fives before. What, are you guys about to raid this city? Should I tell somebody about this? So I was always scared to walk into this town because uh, obviously, as you can tell, it's broken. But there's only one lady in the town and that's because she's on a building. And I was like, what if I purposely just try to come under here and... It's working out pretty well. There's merchants, there's other people. Everybody that was basically standing on the sand is now down here with me. And I basically just wanted to see if they could sell anything to me. Oh, man. It looks like they're all borked out. I can't talk to them because they are underground. Man, I wanted to buy some Terra Pals that I already have to get some free experience. Like I've been doing in the Firebase place. This fishing spot down here. Now that I've caught all the Pals that he can sell, I don't mind buying them for some of the freebies. So I just hatched a pyron knocked at first i was like wait a second what happened what is going on but yeah let's go check this bad boy where is you at i thought i was gonna have to catch you at night and i didn't breed for this i i for my first playthrough i'm not gonna breed anything i don't have because i feel like that'll be a little cheatsy i want to get everything authentically through like the hard process I don't know why, but I just feel like I, I kind of earned it more that way. So, let's see. What's all about you? Black hair. Can be ridden. Applies dark damage to the player's attacks while mounted. It burns mysterious dark matter as energy and expels the remaining particles from its body. If someone rides it, they should take care so as not to gallop down the path of darkness. Literally. I like the, the storytelling of this guy. That's pretty cool, and these colors are crazy, and this gives me dark damage. And I just realized, um, I found this really cool website that you can ha find a lot of PAL data on that actually shows you the strengths and weaknesses chart. What is this called? It's it's literally just called PALDEX.io. It's, it's so freaking good. The UI is clean. It looks amazing. And one thing I didn't know is, so apparently, the, the, the main core you have is the water's good against fire, fire's good against grass, grass good against ground, ground good against electricity, electricity good against water. Well, fire is also good against ice. Fire is the only type that's good against two things. But then ice is good against dragon. I thought that would be such. But then dragon is good against dark? That's a little weird, but okay. And then dark is good against nor uh, neutral. And then neutral's not good against anything. But at least now I know, and it's pretty simple, and it... it, it it flows kind of it's like a circle and then a branch out but still it's it's something and i like it now that i know that i have the knowledge i feel much better about certain things finally some serpent terrace it's been like probably yeah it's it's been like an hour and a half of me just trying to make more stuff but that's because i leveled up i made myself an assault rifle so we can try that out got some ammo for it made some incendiary grenades made freaking 44 legendary spheres double what we had before double what we lost Oh, I really had to make up for it. I guess I, I really wanted to be prepared. So, who are we going to fight with? I don't want to fight with Quaver, and Quaver does have some water-type moves. Uh, let's just throw... Let's just throw Bron Cherry at him. Weaken him up a little bit. And then we can see what we can do. Also, Assault Riffle. I thought I made more Assault Riffle ammo than this. But what's this do? Okay, not, not too bad. And the fact that... Oh, wait. You come back over here. And you quit being so uppity with me. I will shoot you right in your face. This is pretty nice damage. If you just keep doing that, you just keep tapping the Triggy. Also, I don't know... I don't want to waste the my best spheres if I don't have to, so we're going to just try doing with these ones. 25% is good. I could keep throwing this at you and hope that, that it'll do something. Oh, I should have weakened it with the Incendiary Sphere so I could got the burn effect and got more percentage damage. Who the frick's trying to attack me back here? No, get away from me. What the flip? Okay, it's a good thing you suck at aiming. No, I don't want to fight. Why did it immediately make me do that? Oh, no. Run away. I wish to read what you're good with, what you're good at. I think I uh, the other things I saw over here, up at the north, the very, very north. The one thing that sucks about up here is you can't TP to this for some reason. You can TP from this, but not to it. It'll just send me to my most northern base anytime I try to teleport to this one. And then the, the loading screen is also very long. But I've only ever found surfants and... The Terra Deers up here at the north part of the desert. Wait, is that an island or is that like more desert up here? There's still a good amount of space. There's a lot of space on this map actually that I haven't discovered just yet. But also, yes, give me, give me back into this because I wish to be reading what is going on. You know what? Let me just look while I'm at this where I can find these. Wait, what? 
I swear I've seen these in the desert before. Wait, what did it just... Where did I go? Okay, I'm still on the deer. But what the flip? Am I looking at... Th I am looking at the right creature. I could have swore I saw these in the desert. Okay, good thing I checked this so I wasn't... Wouldn't be wandering around for like an hour and then finally giving up or looked myself, so... Okay, that's a blessing in disguise. I also ran out of technology points. I didn't think that would happen for a very long time. But that is a thing that it's had happened. Now where... I'm getting off a uh, topic. Need to get back on topic. Gotta ride that cowboy. Now here we go. Can't... Can, wait, sand swimmer. Can be ridden. Really? That's all... That's all your partners... They didn't give you anything else? And you give liquids even though you're not actually a serpent? Stamina depletion while moving over water. Yeah, that's so much better. What? Its aerodynamic form is well suited to life on the sand. Poachers often catch them and use them in place of surfboards. But why? They're they're terrible. Gathering one? What? Somebody please tell me if, if there's any reason to actually like this guy. Oh. Um, I just fell down right next to him. Okay. Well, let's try this then. Oh no, I'm a criminal. I'm criminaling. That's not good. We're just gonna try to get you real quick like. Uh, should I try this incendiary grenade? See how that works? Oh, freaking! It's all the way over there. And it takes forever for it to explode. Wait, I'm just trying it out there though, deer. There you go. Now you're burning. Now we're burning. Now we're having a great time even though we're being criminals. Can I just catch you? Ooh, 69 perfect percentage. It went up uh, to 70, but that's fine. And now I totally get why I thought he was in the desert. Because this place looks like a desert. Well, let's just get out of here before we get more of the uh, policia, the popo on our tails. But that was actually kind of cool. I wonder what else we could find here. I'm going to try to stick once I get this tag off of me. Yeah, because I think I can find some other stuff down here. I can find Azurobe. I can't believe I fell next to one i just ran out of stamina fell to the ground oh you can find pen kings here too but those are easy to get for the the boss fights and uh what the what what yeah this right here we want the deer is right it was i thought yes maybe here you are we have guardian of the golden forest yeah you are pretty golden he, he literally blended right in <laughs> i've never been so like shocked by how camouflaged a pal has been in this game. So, can be ridden, can perform a double jump while mounted. Increases efficiency of cutting trees. Is the same thing as you? Yes. And then, do you both have the same lumbering? You do. And the, invi the, the individual with the hardest horns becomes the leader. Once the horns are lost, so too is the leadership status. It leaves the herd amidst farewell glances and quietly returns to the earth. Wait, what? So, there can only be one, one leader in a pack? And if... You're, if you lose, or if you think you can't be a leader, but you want to be, you just you just become the ground. Oh, and there's the fellow I'm looking for. As soon as I came here, we got it. I got distracted by this purple chest, but now we're here. And look at all these legendary spheres I have. 63 now. Oh, it's just getting so much better now. I'd never have to really worry about anything. So let me just hop off of you for a second. I'll get on top of our socks, make you do the whole flame arrow situation first, see if we can't get them burning, and then I'll hop off off you, buddy. And should I just throw uh, an incendiary grenade at him? No, nah, we got our socks out. He's going to be able to do it anyway. Oh, I, no. Oh, I thought I was dead. Okay, our socks don't kill him while I'm gone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. if you ever want, if you ever have problems pooping, just to do something like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's cool. I've never fought this guy up close also. It looks like his tusks and everything are actually made out of ice. I like that detail. It's very cool, very fun. Oh, no! That's too much damage, my boy! <laughs> okay, uh, we gotta look for another one. Okay, we got two more chances, but there's some cryolinxes nearby, so we gotta try to do this a little bit smart. Not trying to aggro him too much. Now, should I stay on top of our socks to try to fight this guy right now, or... You know what? Not, not, maybe when he gets a little bit lower. Well, not at this exact second. Oh, oh, that's, that's his fire for, for some reason. He was rearing up, so I thought it was his animation, but it was not. Now, keep firing at him. Oh, oh, oh holy crap! Machine gun snowballs? That crazy. Okay, our socks. Uh, I don't know what you're going to do next against him, and he seems like he's kind of broken. So, it's just my chance. It's now. It is my time. Hey! Get in the freaking ball. I know you're not burning. 
But that is, uh, that's a bad for me. Maybe I shouldn't have shot him with the shotgun the last time. I should have just thrown the incendiary. But that might have also killed him. Yeah, we got a man more as Chris. Let me just get someplace safe, like on top of this rock over here, before we get into this guy's little biography. So here we go. Sitting. Oh, sitting so cute. Quivering really is my, my favorite flyer in the world. Favorite mount. Oh, she's so precious. Uh, why'd you send me to the top? I want to go, like, almost all the way to the bottom. Also, I was looking... And there's some things I haven't even discovered it yet. Like, what is this? Is this like a different kind of Rayhound? I kind of want to look it up, but I also kind of don't. Because there's still other things I have to do in the game. So maybe I'll stumble upon it later. I need to wait till nighttime and then I can go get this guy. But where is it? Here, right here. It has the same thing that the, the Cybelex has and the Wampo kind of does with their icons here. It's like, have I caught this boy? Have I not? It's still kind of grayed out. But if they're grayed out, they don't show you what their type is. So... Ice Crusher can be ridden. Improves efficiency of cutting trees and mining ores while mounted. He's good at lumbering too, mining and cooling. The vegetation on its back varies from individual to individual. There was a time when seeds of presumed extinct plants were found still frozen on the back of a Mammorist Christ. Wait, does, so does that mean they're really old? Or somehow like those plants only grow on these guys now? And then they get frozen when they go up to the north. Maybe they're not a different type at all. Maybe they can just adapt really quickly. They can go through a form change. That's interest. There we go. I knew it. This is the first spot I ever saw a blaze howl knocked. I mean, with my own eyes. I think before, I, I saw one like a while back. And then it popped up in my pal decks. That's the only reason I know I saw one. But this is where I really saw one with mean own eyes. And this is the first place I saw Reptyros, too, I think, swimming along. We got two chances at this bad boy. And one thing I noticed is now that I know that Dragon's good against Dark, I don't fear this guy one bit. Plus, I also have water moves that are good against his uh, fire-type nature. So there you go, buddy. Take it. Take all of that. Oh, he's taking it big time. How much damage is it going to do? Actually, a pretty respectable amount. Uh, so respectable, in fact. I don't know if I want to hit him with anything else. Oh, he's. we can fly. We can fly away from that. Haha. -ha. I has got the upper hand on you, buddy. And he's a fire type, so I can't burn him. So that's what we're doing with that. And then, hello. 70%. Dude, I feel amazing right now. Flying around with an assault rifle. This is crazy. Catching giant... Lion Tigers of Darkness at nighttime. This feels so great. Now, where is... Oh, you're right here, actually. A boop boop. Dark Flame Lion can be ridden. While fighting together, neutral piles drop more items when defeated. Ooh, that's sick. Do you do that, too? Grass piles drop more stuff when defeated. Okay, cool. I need somebody that'll drop more items if you defeat Water Pals or Aqua Pals because I have no fluid left and I need to make more cement. So, that's my next priority. While it prefers raw meat, it always ends up eating tainted meat. This is due to its dark claws, which it uses as its weapon. It simply doesn't realize its prey gets cursed. So it's always eating cursed food, which is feeding its darkness. It's the same thing with this guy, but with fire and crispiness. So you, oh, you're both also just kindling and lumbering, but that's nice. He's a pretty nice guy. And then we also could have caught the pyron here too, but we don't need that because we hatched one somehow. I might have just found it someplace like I'm doing right now, collecting all these eggs. So, now it's time to go back to the base, and we probably have a lot more things to hatch there, because I've been breeding a lot more. I've been breeding... What have I been breeding lately? I've been breeding Nox. I almost have full Noxes. And then I was breeding, I think, for these guys, because I've never seen these guys. I think I bought this from some dude, because I didn't... I had never seen it before. So... Yeah, about that. I, I, it says you can find him in the, the cold places at night, but I have yet to do that. But that's also because I don't hang out in the cold at night because you die even if you have cold armor on. I guess I need to put on like cold underwear and cold other things and then ride my R socks and then I'll be fine. But that's a lot. I need to show this off and also come to the realization that th these are skill trees. Like literally... A lot of RPGs have a thing called a skill tree, but it's not actually a tree. And then I just realized this, the, the devs of this game decided to make a skill tree a thing. I just, I love that. And also, while I was up here, there was just this big old, there was a lot of darkness over here I wanted to try to just explore and get rid of while I was waiting for nighttime, because I want to catch uh, Hell's Effort. I've seen one so many times, I've tried to catch one so many times, I keep accidentally killing it, 
or if it was really early in the game, it was killing me, and it was just bad. But then I looked across this horizon, this beautiful horizon, and I could see the town that I went underground from earlier is right there. And I can see all of the desert, and right here is actually hot, even though the, the ice is there and the mountain's there. I had to put my hot stuff on because it was telling me it was too hot. But, if we go straight this way, there there's apparently a syndicate tower that I never discovered. So I want to see what the frick all that's about. What's in this secret mine shaft? You can probably tell what's in it by going over it. Maybe there's just like a tradesman? Like one of those black market dudes? But I'm thinking maybe if it is a pal, I could just check it out by going over top. Just like that. We got some cognitos. I'm still hoping that I found whatever that thing is above the uh, Rayhound in the PAL decks. I want to know what that is. I wish to find it. Hey, why? Sometimes it does that. It's, it says hold X to dismount, but also if you just tap X a whole bunch, which I did there to try to pick up that Chester, it just then it just like drops you off. Like, no more. Here you go. Does that mean the Syndicate person's also going to be a Terra type? I don't know. I don't know, because the one that I thought was at the top of the volcano was actually electric. That's where the Orzerk, I think it's called, is, lady. I wasn't able to fight her. I mean, yeah, it's, I'm still probably, I think, far away from her. I can't probably do that until I get rocket launchers. And yes, you could get rocket launchers later. I think level 49 or 50 is pretty crazy. I love that the moon is right behind it, making it look so cool, yet sus. And crazy, alluring, yet... Don't touch me kind of feel. No, let me touch this one. I got the fast travel point. More technology points. So what was in that? What was in the secret mine shaft? Now I have to go check that out. And then, or should I f try to fight this person first? If I try to fight this person, I'm definitely going to die. So, but that won't be the worst thing in the world. There is a fast travel spot right there. I could just take my Rangerix in here like I did when I died to the fire. And come right on back, so... I am just curious. I have my assault rifle. Uh, it has some ammo in it. Not too much. How much ammo do I have for this? Yeah, 31 shots. I do have a lot of pump action shotgun shots, and I do have incendiary grenades. So, maybe this is something we can try out, but if you're Terra type, I'm also down a person because I was trying to get a lot of fluid, and I remembered that gobfins can give you pal fluid, and there's a there's a spot that literally says gobfins turf. You go there, there was like 15 that attacked me as soon as I went there. It was pretty great, but Rayhound got messed up. So, maybe I could go on. What is, what, wait, if I go, if I try to think about, oh, I don't have the page up anymore, but for the, the typings, what is good against ground? I think it's, so it's, uh, water's good against fire, fire is good against grass, grass is good against ground. So, I have two grass types, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good, I say. Now, how do I get in? Let me in. Oh, there we go. Oh, I, I can't join while I'm um, mounted. Oh, now I want to mount and it's not letting me? There we go. I guess you can't stand on this. So, do I open up Ron Cherry? Okay, we're trying it. We're trying it. How much health are you going to have? I don't remember how much health the other people's had. I think the the one that we couldn't do had 69,000. Shadow Beak or Orzerk had 69,000. Orzerk had 200,000. Which is a donk. So, what are, you, what are you looking like? Where's your gauge between those two peeps? What are we doing? Hey, oh... Just walking full. Oh, PDF guys? Hello, or PDIF guys? Is that who you are? Why is everything so, like, not... Like, these cutscenes are, would be so great if they weren't so blurry sometimes. Hello, guy. I thought you were a lot older with your silhouette. thought you were going to be an old man. Hello. Who do you have? Oh, you have that dude? I want that dude! I found him at one of the sanctuaries. He's pretty sick. And how much health he's going to have and how much you're going to be moving around. Marcus and Phalaris. Both the S's. And why is it so low res? How much health do you have? 146,000? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, and also, you have a fire type bird. I am not prepared for this at all, at all. Do I want to throw... I mean, I'm going to have to die anyway, so I might as well just try and throw out the wyvern. But not actually throw her out because that would be evil. But you are in the sky, and that's rude. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. 400 damage? What is he doing? Just throwing? How much damage do I go do with my shotgun? Don't. Okay, actually, that's kind of that's kind of good damage. If I could just, oh, throw it at him. Oh, I'm burning. 
You know what I should do so I don't waste my armor? It's just like do this. And then just let myself die. Oh, poor. Poor me, poor world. Don't break my shield. Just kill me. Dang, I knew there was going to be a contraband guy down here, but I know I was going to sell pals that were actually had good stuff. I was already breeding for this guy, but he has Artisan, Runner, and Swift? Oh yeah, I'm buying you. Thank you, guy. You're very creepy. And uh, part a lot of me tells me that I shouldn't be associated with you at all, but I'll take that. Oh, finally, let's go. There you are. I was spending the last, like, two nights in this game trying to look for you. But you're a little bit of a too low level per chaps? I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. I don't want to knock him out because these things are... Oh, well, I guess we can be kind of aggressive against this guy because there's another one right there. I've never seen them in pairs of two. This is incredible. So good, so good. Uh, should I hit you with a... Oh, freaking! Oh, so much fire. And you're about to die. A hundred percent. That's crazy. I got you down as low as you could possibly get. Oh, that shotgun blast almost killed you, you beautiful majestic creature. Oh, this is so great. Where is your... Where is your face, though? Huh? Is it not down here? I don't know where... I don't even know if I've ever seen this thing in the... In the decks. Hero? I know I've seen you before. Are you all the way down here? Oh, you are all the way down here. You're a dark type. Can be ridden as a flying mount. Applies dark damage to the player's attacks while mounted. It calls forth lightning from the depths of hell. One who dies from hell's zephyrs inferno is sure to be sent to the underworld. <gasps> That's just plain old sucks. You just drop medium pal souls? That's pretty cool. Does anybody else just drop souls? Pretty nice of you guys. Oh, wait. Whoops. Um, do I shoot it up at that guy? I don't know. If, but, uh, yeah. I just, I wanted to try to get that guy. He was annoying me. We were doing some stuff. I found some, a new boss. That's cool. Another thing to reach towards that it's, uh, I don't know, it's going to take a while probably, but hopefully not too long. But, yeah. I got the dude. I got the dude. Spent nights trying to find you. And there's another one right there. We'll just uh, gaze in your, bask in your glory as we end the episode. So, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. And if you did, remember these three things. You're beautiful. I appreciate you. And have a great one. Bye-bye.